welcome back to April 28th. Um, so the title of this video will be Vita 28, um, but it's not really Vita. I have to write a seven page paper tonight for a class tomorrow, and I have so little research done. Uh, everything I have, I basically knew before I started. Anyway, I read Divergent yesterday, which led to a couple of different things. First of all, minor ostracization in the math department because very few people apparently are good at reading and doing math and so hanging out in the math department and reading a book is like totally not cool. <laughs> um, but also, that's cool because I have been meaning to read Divergent ever since I was book vlogging. It was big then, which was, you know, as everybody knows, forever ago. And of course the movie came out this month, so, you know, that was it was cool to go and see that. I did not see the movie. It was cool to read that finally. I definitely like the idea of the book. I thought it was really engaging and uh, it is sort of a twist on dystopian post-apocalyptic kind of world that you don't see every day. You see it less. The whole idea of moral concepts was, was nice. It was a little refreshing and uh, you know again the writing was really engaging to read. The whole concept of the daredevils and so on and so forth. Very, very interesting. On the other hand, it was like really, really violent. Unnecessarily so in a lot of places. Like war is a violent thing. I understand that, but I don't know. Did everybody have to die? I'm not sure about that. I have not read anything beyond Divergent, but I know that Allegiant, we had a particular death that a lot of people were very frustrated about because it was kind of unnecessary. And I see the beginnings of that sort of um, inattentiveness to the importance of death and to sort of making uh, little deaths not important anymore, uh, even starting in this first book. But it does lead itself to having lots of little theories, you know, why is it uh, that all of the selflessness people whose name I definitely know Aber abnegation? Why are their children so frequently, of course, you know, divergent? And I think I have not read anything beyond this, but I think that probably has something to do with all of those certain skills take a lot of selflessness to do, really. You have to focus on a whole and focus on the community rather than yourself. But yeah, that was a that was a cool book to read. Be interested in your thoughts down below. I know most people were like, five stars! I, I ended up rating it three stars on Goodreads, and I don't knew if that was a good thing or a bad thing or what, but that's like totally personal preference. I mean, of course, ratings on books are always sort of a personal preference. It's how I enjoyed reading the book, but especially because I'm in that whole book blogging phase I'm used to, you know, I will give this book a certain star rating so you know what I thought about it and you know how sort of compatible it would be for you, you know, so if it has bad writing but an engaging plot that would be about a three star. Or, you know, if it has really great writing, a really engaging plot, but it's very complicated, then maybe that would be a four star because less people would read that versus a five star. Even though I had five stars worth of enjoyment, other people would be more likely to have four stars of engagement or whatever and such and on. If I was rating it for, like, not my personal enjoyment, I think I would throw a four or a five on it. Um, but I'm interested to continue reading on in that series. And I have a copy of Allegiant, I don't have a copy of Insurgent, but, um, so that's exciting. Okay, then I think we have had a legitimately length, uh, video here, and I will talk to you later. I'm not gonna edit this tonight, because there's someone knocking at my door, I hope not. So, I will work on that and probably edit this tomorrow during my break for lunch, uh, if I remember to. So that would be great. I will see you then, and hopefully we will see each other. Later than that. Bye-bye.